watch the flaps. Elevator trim set. I'm probably going to lift the nose right away. This is Jeff Rappaport reporting for AvWeb from the Sport Aviation Expo at Sebring. We're here with Dennis Long flying his Aeroprax A22 LS. Dennis, what do you want to tell us about this airplane? Well, it's just one of those, it's been around for a long time, 20 years or more. Uh, there's almost 50 in the United States now. They're uh, proven to become popular again. Uh, the service and support has uh, greatly improved, and the factory's volume and the numbers are easily able to meet the reasonable lead time for orders. The plane's actually one of the most docile in its class. Uh, one of the things, it flies such a good airplane hands off. Even in bumps, as we're moving around pretty good, it was, what, 15 gusting to 20 on departure. And you can fly it with just rudders, or you can fly it with just ailerons either direction. Without a lot of adverse y'all, it'll come under and come right back around. But the Achilles heel of a lot of light sport aircraft is their useful load. How much useful load do we have in this thing? This particular airplane is right at the 600-pound mark. So two 250-pound guys, 180 fuel, eh, you throw a little bit in the luggage bin and still be okay. Now, the, the airplane, although it is 1320 on wheels, all the structural design and built was done at 1430 on floats. Okay. So, when you put them on floats, you got the 1430 number. With the larger tires like this, we're limited to about 100 miles an hour when you bring the RPMs up. You go with the smaller wheels and wheel pans. 110 is probably a good cruise number. It'll go faster than that, but when you stay below the 5400 range, it's right at 108, 110. It's one of the best flying in the light sport market is not the fast one. It's a slow one. Take off and landing, 35, 40 miles an hour. Stall speed with flaps is 30, which I'll demonstrate here in a little bit. Clean is 40 miles an hour, which is 35 knots. I noticed that rather than a sail skid, you've got a wheel on the back. Is that That's designed all. to be in contact? Uh, in the past, early models had skids on the bottom, and uh, Hungary was a country. When they got to their CAA, they wanted a wheel. Uh, the plane is almost impossible to spin. Every plane that's gone through the ASTM certification has proven to be spin recoverable. Uh, this plane can be spun, but the most you'll get out of it is a, about a half a turn if you let go of the controls. All the way in a stall while it's buttered down, you have aileron roll control. Okay. They use a slotted flapper on, so they act like a slat. So you'll get air over the aileron, even though the wing is breaking loose. So for taking pictures of photography with these windows, It's an optional photo door, they call it. You can't fly with the doors completely off. The VNE gets reduced from 140 to 100. Oh, you can take the doors all the way off? All the, all the way off the fly. You can actually do rudder trim by the rudders. You can move them off, take the seat off, and they'll stay. So if you got one ring flying a little bit low, you can add a little rudder trim, bring the wing and then take the seat off, and you can fly the rest of the day like that. Just a little friction in the rudders. They stay put, yeah. yeah. Uh, some people like it. Some would rather have a spring center. Yeah. I like it. Uh, some guys say, oh, they'd rather have a spring center. You know, it doesn't feel super light. I saw them fly some other light sports, and the controls feel a little bit silly, but actually the ailerons have, like, a, a nice weight to them. So they've got them at slow speed. got great control, light, very easy light pitch, but at faster speed, they, they farm up. It's available with the 80 horse if you want it. The 100 horse is a small upgrade in price. Most everybody's buying the 100, and I can also do the IS engine. But I'm trying to appeal to the guys who want to get into light sport flying, and they don't can't spend $100,000. Yeah, so what is the entry price for this? Entry price, nicely equipped modus, in-dash radio, team gauges with the big tires, big fuel tanks. They're coming in around $83,000. Okay. If you want to go full bore like this, parachute, seaplane like this one, photo window doors, this one would retail at 95. But it has everything you want in a glass panel, autopilot, prepped for parachute. This does not have it installed. It's another uh, about $3,800 for the parachute installed. It's just full featured airplane, but I'm allowing people to order them simple if they want them. On the stick model, we have a tall man dashboard that's cut up another two inches. Nice. So even long legged guys can fit in there. We have a handicap option available for someone with no legs. Okay. They take the throttle lever, make it very long, the brake is on it, uh -huh. but then there's a link that you can switch.
switch it from just throttle, where it runs throttle and rudder at the same time. But it does not disconnect the, the passenger side or the pilot side pedals. You have a regular so, CFI. They go to CFI, feel perfectly comfortable, he's got his normal. Other than when he moves the throttle or they move the, somebody moves the rudder pedals, they're going to have the throttle pedal moving back and forth. Tell me about this cabin width. I'm just thinking about how I feel in a 152, and this is not, this is more than, feels like bigger than 182. But I've had guys tell me it's as big as a 206. I don't know about that, but width-wise, it's, a mall's only 43, the width on this one at the shoulders is 50. It's pretty spacious. Yeah, very easy. Which makes it appeal to big, big guys, tall guys, because even a tall guy, I tell him, sit in any plane, sit up nice and tall, and look under the wing without having to duck down. Yeah, I'm six foot three and I got three inches to the roof. And you can look under the wing without having to bend down. Yes. You're number one from one niner. One niner clear to land, green dots are beyond. Wind estimated two four zero at one three, gust one eight. 